this afternoon to stand against Putin's brutality in Ukraine. I want to especially recognize the Ukrainian Americans here with us today. Those born here, those born in Ukraine, those born elsewhere, and everyone who traces their ancestry to Ukraine. I know the pain you feel, the concern for friends, for family, for homeland. We stand with you in this dark moment. We are all Ukrainians. I join you. I join you in demanding an immediate end to Russian aggression and the withdrawal of Russian troops from Ukraine. And King County, the 2.3 million people of King County stand with you in demanding an end to Putin's aggression, and we offer our sincere and our unqualified support to the people of Ukraine at this darkest hour. We know that at least one million Ukrainians have been forced to flee the country to protect their safety. My administration stands ready to welcome anyone arriving from Ukraine to provide them with the shelter and comfort they need and to help their families. My staff is working with local resettlement agencies right now to ensure we can move quickly and collectively as a region when people arrive here. And I've directed all executive branch agencies to examine every contract, every arrangement to make sure not one of them is benefiting Putin and his cronies at the expense of the people of Ukraine. And on Monday, I will announce to our more than 16,000 employees a special employee giving campaign for humanitarian relief for Ukraine. They can give cash, they can turn in their unused leave, which we will convert to cash to provide to the people of Ukraine in this moment of need. We will not see our tax dollars go to support the oppression of Ukraine, we will see our dollars go to support the Ukrainian people in their brave struggle against oppression. The brave defenders of Ukraine are in our hearts, as is every person here today. We must join together to resist Putin's attempt to drag us backward, backward into another century, backward into the colonization of Eastern Europe, backward into a time without freedom, without democracy, in Ukraine, around the world, and yes, even here in the United States of America. For the freedom of Ukraine, we stand together. For the protection of our people, we stand together. Today, again, we are all Ukrainians, together for Ukraine. Thank you for being here today.
Good afternoon. Доброго дня. І він добрий через те, що ми стоїмо, і через те, що ми перемагаємо. And it is good because we are winning in this war. I came with umbrella, not because it's rainy. I check weather, and I know that it's not going to be rainy. Last Saturday it was raining, and I came without umbrella. Because people were in Ukraine, they are under rocket attacks, and they are bombs. And if you are afraid of rain, something wrong with us. Today I came with umbrella, not because of sun. This is symbol. Close sky. No fly zone. 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 Ten days of re recent invasion of Russia on territory of Ukraine. 10 days of children like this and younger dying. 10 days of older and younger people dying, of women dying. 10 days of bomb shelling and rockets falling on, and targeting apartment buildings of civilians. 10 days of our heroes protecting them. 10 days of Ukraine becoming symbol of democracy and fight for democracy. Not other country. Not other country, but Ukraine. And other countries can step up. Other countries can step up. I'm sorry if I'm not being very diplomatic. But we are talking about lives of people who fight for freedom, who fight for democracy, who fight for land, for children, for future. They come to your house. They kill you all and say we're not guilty, not guilty. Where is your heart? Humanity rise. You think you are gods, but everyone dies. Don't swallow my soul. Our souls. Субтитры 
Чудо!